But so in this particular episode, we're going to talk about more established businesses and we talked about wallet share. And what I mean about wallet share again is you, you currently have a well established client or customer base, depending on whether you're business to business or business to consumer. So what we're wanting to do, and I'm sure you want this, is how do we grow our existing customer base? Often we're trying to look outside for new business to come in. Absolutely, fully agree with it. But I want to show you a formula that I want you to consider before going out there and trying to bring in more clients. Because you may find the more clients you're bringing in may not necessarily bring you in more profit. And at the end of the day, we might want to increase our sales, but I think definitely profit will be of more value to you and your business. Right, so when you take your client or customer base, the first thing I'd like you to do is identify which clients and customers are generating the most amount of profit for you. Because that's the first place we want to look at is profitability of your product and service and profitability of your client or customer base. Once you've identified your most profitable clients, have a look at what are they buying, what products of, the, of yours are they buying, what services are they using of yours. And can you get them to buy more, more often? Because we just assume they know what's on our product ladder. They understand, we assume that they understand what you offer. Please don't be surprised when you actually ask them, do you know what else we offer? They don't know. They only think you do what you are servicing them with or providing them with. Once they've identified that, you may find there's a perfect opportunity to upsell and cross-sell to them. The next thing I want you to look at is how much on average are they spending with you? And again, what they're spending with you and what profit you're making out of them. And how do we get them to invest more in your products and services to make them more sustainable with you and also to make sure that they're more profitable with you. Once you've identified those three key areas, you now can look back at where you were working with potential clients and customers, and you might have done quotes, you might have done proposals, and you may find if you've done 20, only five of those possibly are your ideal potential target market. Go back and revisit them. Because generally, a lot of people procrastinate. They may not have gone ahead with a competitor that they've gone to. And if they did go ahead, they may not be happy or satisfied. So revisit them, have a chat to them, and see if you can bring them on. Perfect opportunity to grow your existing, well-established customer base. Once you have done that exercise, that's four areas that you're looking at, where it's on a plate, it's simple and it's easy to get them on board. Then you can look at going out and marketing because you now have a very good idea who your target market is and the product and, pro product and service that you can offer that's profitable to your business and adds huge value to your client. Then when you do your marketing, it comes at a cost. So we've got to make sure you market the right place to the right people with the right products and services. If you've seen value out of this episode, feel free to attend one of my webinars or seminars or take up a 10 minute call with me so we can discuss your strategies around growing your existing base and making sure you have wallet share. I'm Arlene Powell and your success is my business.